What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. So let's just dive right into the stupid. Everybody got that? Good! You gotta shut the door if you can't come in. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to send your supervisor out here for me, honey. Can you send your supervisor out? You know, I've just now realized the only difference between a frauditor and a Karen is that Karens say manager and frauditors say supervisor. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. Can you send your supervisor out for me? I'm requiring I'm requiring one of my public servants to come and to come and provide me some services. Well, somebody OD'd on their self-importance pills this morning. I'm not blocking the door. There's nobody trying to come in. I was. Oh, and get used to the bullshit captions. We're dealing with one of those pathetic narcissists who are desperate to reshape the narrative into anything other than what our own eyes are telling us. Trying to come in, and I stopped in the doorway. You Thank sir? you very much. I May we talk over here, Absolutely. please? Absolutely. I'd love to have a chat. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. What's your name? My name's Tim Riley. I'm here Tim. on a uh, okay. on a docket. I have to be here today for a custody issue. First okay. of all, may I have your name and batch number, sir? Yep. It's badges right here. Names right here. So what is you have? Is that what you say to the judge when when you're uh, asked yeah. to identify yourself in court, sir? Okay, let me make this very clear to every unoriginal frauditor who loves to use this line. You're not a judge. I mean, judge, respectfully, judge I'm just ask asking me. you no, to actually, identify, I understand I'm just that, asking you to identify yourself. So. Kindly, uh, sir. Respectfully, trooper, so. yes. Yeah, so, Tim Riley, Mr. You're trooper, here for, uh, a court hearing. Court yes. hearing. Yeah. Okay. Under, now, under Title 18, Section 242, Fine. USC, what, I am exempt. I am exempt from from wearing a mask. Funny, I don't see anything about masks here or exemptions related to them. But since we're on the subject, we might as well get out of the way of the fact that you're not being denied due process of law since you were given a day in court to address your case, and nobody's made any threats to imprison or injure you. Glad we got that taken care of. Okay. Okay. I need to be here for a child custody hearing. Okay. It's, Do you uh, have a mask? I know no, you're, you're saying you're I'm not required to wear one, but I asked them for a mask and they just completely ignored me. While I'm prepared to admit it would be a nice courtesy if they had a few lying around to give in case someone forgot theirs, they're not actually under any legal obligation to give it to you. It is your responsibility. And given the nature of the case, I would assume you would take your responsibility seriously. Right. Yeah. I said, okay, there's nothing on this paperwork that requires me to wear a mask. Yeah, it's just more on Okay, the floor, we've right? come from miles and miles away to Where be here from? today. Miles away. And oh, we, okay. we uh, are told, oh, well, so the governor says that you can't come into the... But if I'm bagged, then, then you have an issue with that. But, I'm right, sorry. So I'm sorry. I didn't you hear have, the question. No, so no, no. Have an issue with Please pause. Where, I didn't where hear you your from? question. I'd like to clarify. Where are you from? You said miles, I'm miles on the, away. I'm on the east. I'm east of the river. I'm, I'm, not, I'm east of Hartford. I'm Trooper Wilson with the state police. Where yes, are you sir. from, Tim Riley? I'm from the state of Connecticut, sir. Very I live good. In a, okay, in a so you're familiar, you're familiar with Governor Lamont's orders? Nobody I am very familiar with them, yes. I'm a, a I'm a civil rights enter. activist. I'm a press member. Oh, a bullshit artist. Yeah, okay. I have a great Fantastic. thing going online. I have a tremendous so you following. you understand everything that's going on? Everybody I understand here, exactly what's going on. I'm okay. here to, to show up for court. Okay. Okay. I run into a very irate, sort of egregious security officer at the door who, who, who says she knows nothing about U.S. code, which is a problem because she's operating in official capacity and she's supposed to be enforcing laws, right? Okay. Okay, well, I have a number of rights, and one of these rights yeah. is saying that I don't have to wear a mask. Yeah, you could say it. Doesn't mean you're exempt. Now, if you guys are insisting I wear a mask, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not going to. Please. We're insisting. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I would assume we're, we're, that we're you all that. have the means to facilitate the if I the mask you, for if me. I, mask, I would, would have to put the mask on. Yes, in violation of my rights. Help! Help! I'm being repressed. So I will absolutely put that mask on because I have a child that is much more important than, than any the egregious on. Right? Authoritarian, totalitarian orders of the governor who, that only apply to, you know, official state members, local and state officials. All right, so he's made it very clear that his number one priority is this hearing, which I can assume involves custody of his child. And no rational and decent human being would put any of their frivolous nonsense over that. Have to obey by these 
orders, not private citizens. I don't know if you know the law or not, but I certainly do. And, and you're violating my rights, but I need to be in there. So please violate my rights so I can defend my daughter's safety and def defend myself and show up for court today. Mr. Wilson, I can read, but I found that a little disrespectful to the private citizens, and they will too, and they're going to be upset with that. Well, like, it's disrespectful. Well, you, you failed to identify yourself properly, like say I'm illiterate or something, like I mean... Well, I wouldn't make any assumptions, but then again, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't mean to disrespect okay, you, yeah, and you that, take it as fair. a challenge and, and when I, did, I do I that. You took it, you took later, it immediately but... as a challenge. I'm not here to challenge you, it, but it you took that it that way. way. I know that. It appears that way. It's too. not that way, and I think part of the problem with that right, is, when is you show up with, your camera with more engagements uh, and like and this. I needed to do that. I didn't have my GoPro at first. These people tried to throw me out of here, and then I'm asking for a supervisor, and I'm waiting around even longer. I was hoping a cop would show up. They said you can't enter because you don't have a map. I didn't try to enter. I didn't try well, to you enter. Were, you were standing in the doorway. So I was at the window trying to get somebody to come out, and they're ignoring me. The door and was then open. And the individual the came past me and opened the door. Okay. I held right. it open so that I could verbally communicate with, the, with my public servants. Right. You know this whole my public servants thing you keep saying, you know, to make yourself feel more important or matter more than others? You know it doesn't actually work, right? You're still insignificant. So, at which point uh, do you, you want arrive. To let these guys know that they don't have to wear masks. Well, yeah, I've I been mean, telling everybody in line they're okay. exempt from these orders. So I mean, they don't. So these guys, but they're wearing masks. Why? Why is that? Because they're paranoid about a virus that they probably know a little bit about. You know, they're oh, that, listening to too killed, much news. Oh, listening to too much news is bad, huh? Well, you identified yourself as a member of press, so um, I guess no one has any obligation to listen to you. You know, they're oh, that, listening to too killed, much news and they're not applying. Not in Connecticut, sir, with all due respect, the mortality rate in the state of Connecticut is below 1% and the total How death toll is 0.006. How many total deaths? Uh, I don't know, between 2,500 and 3,000 well, in Connecticut, thousands. in Connecticut. That would be thousands. So that would actually be yes in Connecticut, sir, with all due respect. Uh-huh, out of 4 million and change. So I understand, though, it's okay. well, And then it's in thousands. contrast... I find it ironic that you cast yourself as the hero and call yourself Tyrant Slayer when the type of people who usually consider thousands of deaths to be marginal and a small price to pay to satisfy their personal needs usually look like this. With right. science and medical data right. involved, you know, it's, no. it's uh, okay. uh, benigning so to the pneumonia and Tim, things I, that go ripping through you, nursing you homes you, every year. You, you, have, you understand, you read the this US This is a waste of my time, sir. I need to get into court, this please. This is a huge waste of time, isn't it? Do you have a mask? I asked you if you would be so kind to provide the means to facilitate acquiring a mask for me. I told you I would wear one. So if we I, can I expedite don't that. One. So what's more important, you not going into court and defending your daughter, as you say. I'm here to do going both to get, going with to all mask. of my rights intact, but evidently the state's not going to let me do that. You probably could have gone and got yourself a mask in the time you spent just standing there arguing. It's a surprise. You, you because knew, this you is, knew, you this knew is you the people's a, state. Who does the state work for? Who does the state work for? Like, who is the state operating on behalf of? That's true, the people, right? That's the, right. I am a member of the public. Yes, but you're not the only member of the public, are you? And it's not just your courthouse. You are, and I'm here are, to exercise my rights right. and defend myself, and you guys are you're violating you my here, due process. I thought you were here for your daughter. That's right. And my rights are going to help me defend the safety so, of my daughter. This is, this is where you weigh, you weigh what's more important. Okay. Yeah, this is so important. Go, go get a mask. Go defend your daughter. And where and am I, where am I to acquire done, a mask? And then when and you're done, you come back out and you, go, and you film everything I'll, you want. You I'll be here all day. You... Clearly your daughter is not more important than you just standing there arguing. Also, seriously, this sounds like you're making a threat. And you misspelled obstructing, genius. And I'll you, be here all day. I'm going to audit every every employee's name. I'm going to get yeah. everybody's salary, yeah. including yours. Is your body cam rolling right now? It is rolling. Good. Yeah. And did you, were you called here, or did you see what happened? Like, did they call you? Is there a call number no, associated I, I with this? I wanted to have a this? conversation with you. I, okay, was, great. I was already working inside. Great. I'm very so parched. To have a conversation. I'm very nervous. I need to get into the building so that I can take care of what's okay. required of me. Everybody in this building has a mask, and right, I can guarantee yeah. there's a big box in some room next to some donuts and some coffee or whatever it might be there. Yeah. No pun intended. And I'm sure somebody can be a human being and operate outside of their arrogance for just one moment. Hey, have you ever heard the one about the pot and the kettle? And provided their fellow citizen 
a mask mm -hmm. so that they can enter the building. Okay. Do you think and, there's somebody and if, here and that could that, do that? If that wasn't going to be the case, then what would be the next course? Well, the next course would be <laughs> setting up my tripod guess? and getting all my correspondence yeah, out yeah. here and and, and, then, maybe, and then having the press rights violated. Somebody? I guess there isn't much room for his daughter at all in those plans. For, for, to get a mask? No, can, all can of my family and friends, friends live at least 40 miles away. Okay. Hmm. All right, so it might take them a little while before they can come down. Well, I don't have all day to be here, and I'm sure right. that the, the magistrate or whoever the judge is yeah. isn't going to be waiting for me. I, I so. can tell you they won't see you without a mask. Okay. That, that's also that's also the well case, right? and, and that would be fine but if a judge tells me to enter the courtroom because right now you're denying me access to public property i'm having a conversation only the court i know that but my my public servants are denying me access uh -huh. to public property yeah mm -hmm. only the courtroom is in possession, if you will, of the, of the judge. I can wear a hat in this lobby. I can walk in there and do, do, do press all day. I'll be here all day. Once again, are you uh, forgetting about something? Something monumentally more important than your bullshit? Yeah. I'll set up my cameras and be here all day. Okay. Unless you guys are going to arrest me, in which case I'd file a federal lawsuit and then you would lose your career. And I wouldn't want to do that. That would be a terrible thing. It, it would. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. I don't care. That would be an absolute it would terrible so, thing. so so I mean it is so a pretty wanna, so now so you want to go one way with this conversation well and I'm I just wanted, I wanted to talk to you and I know see, but and you got you got reason. nasty with me and, and, stuff. and I'm there, still there, being there, cool this there. is all new so now we've got slander and uh, a likely failed prediction but then again failed predictions is kind of your thing isn't it true it's all no, devil's advocate sir. there is no reason right there is a reason there is no I'm in a desperate situation say, and you're refusing to help me that's the reason and my servants here. here are denying me access to you're public here. property and you're letting them, which makes you complicit in a crime. Yeah, that's fine. So you're here to, supposedly because your daughter has it, you have a, you have a case here involving uh -huh. your daughter. Have... Funny how someone who works for the state, you know, one of your public servants, seems to care more about your daughter than you. No wonder the court thinks you're a shit parent. I have business here. You want to make this more important than that? No, I didn't have this in my hand when I came here. I had this in my hand when you guys tried to throw me but out of here. Instead of going to so get I a came mask, back. Instead of going to get a mask, I don't have the means to get a mask right now. You can afford a three hundred dollar GoPro, but you can't get a mask. I have enough to pay for my parking, okay. enough to pay for my fuel. So you're not getting in without a mask. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's again, fine. And I'm going to file a lawsuit. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> That's fine. And mm -hmm. I'm Trooper Wilson with the State Police. Right? That's right. And what's your badge number, Mr. Wilson? It's 1060. In Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. In case you're dyslexic or illiterate or whatever mm -hmm. you can't read. For all those folks who can't read and can't yeah, tolerate disrespectful troopers. No, that, that was a fair troopers. point. Yes, I know it was. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. You said, you know, what if, I know, but what now if you're, you're dyslexic? You're mocking me. Yes, he is. And we all love him for it. So, I know. no, I'm making sure that you understand. Oh, I understand. I'm Trooper Wilson. It's right there. My shield is 1060. It's right there. Okay. I can assure you there's a lot of people giving you the fuck you Tim finger right now. In case you can't read. Are you going to document this consensual contact? Because I'd like it documented. Because well, I'm going to pull footage. It's, it's I'm going to pull footage. Right here. Yeah, I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull from that. So Tim, so how what do I, I recommend? What I recommend, Tim. All right. Understand. Get through your head. What's more important? Your daughter clearly is more important than anything else you want to. Well, let me ask process. you this. I understand what Hold you're on. requiring so me to do. Get, so if I leave yeah. and it takes, what time is court open until, until today? one o'clock today? Okay. So if I show up at twelve fifty-eight, you're going to escort me to the judge? I don't. I can't speak for the judge. Oh, you can't but speak you can for the judge. But the court is open until one o'clock. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Once again, there is nothing in here related to any of the stuff we saw or any of the troopers' actions. But then again, you gotta lie to audit. So, I think I think we're, we're good. So, like I said, it's posted everywhere. So you were out here Oh, it's posted so. everywhere here. Where is it posted here? First of all, exceptions are being made due to the pandemic. And second, that does not apply to police officers. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do their job during the pandemic. Are you really that stupid? Did the marshal give me something that says, did the marshal give me a copy of that paperwork? No, of course not. So the state's not facilitating the means to provide the people yep. for which it serves, but they... Care to elaborate on what rights expressly not mentioned in the Constitution are being violated? 
or is it just the ones that exist inside your head? We need to, you know, go through their due process properly, right? They're just supposed to come ignorant or, or exercising their rights or medically exempt from wearing a mask because of their health condition that's protected by HIPAA that I don't have to disclose to you or any judge or anybody else. Seriously? HIPAA? You're going to go down that road? You know, I've cited enough law. Can, can somebody else please explain it to him? The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act cover any and all medical facilities which provide medical care to people. It covers every single employee that has hands-on contact with patients and any that have access to patients' financial information. When you request your doctor to write you a letter delineating your medical exemptions from mask mandates, you are releasing your doctor from his HIPAA obligations. In fact, if you request such a missive, you will be asked to sign a HIPAA waiver. That is where HIPAA ends. Security and or police forces are not covered in any way, shape, fashion, or form by the HIPAA laws. When they demand to see the letter from your physician, you must produce it. Remember, ScriptCat says, if you are going to quote any law, make sure you've read it and understand its application. Thanks, ScriptCat. If you haven't already, be sure to go check out ScriptCat's channel after the video. Tell her I sent you. Now, back to the stupid. And no one's going to make me put on a mask and violate my rights unless, of course, they want to lose their job. Right. And that's yeah. fine. Yeah, that's fine. And that's good for the people because then we can throw out the, the people that are screwing everything up. Right. And screwing up child's lives and people's lives and yeah. spreading paranoia and propaganda. And well, so far that description only fits one person we see here. Care to guess who that is? You know, fraud for federal dollars. Like you're being paid on borrowed money right now. You do realize that, right? Okay. All right. So now, you, so now, now you're going to be disrespectful. Go no, get a it's mask. true. It's, Go it's get a, a mask. True get thing. back here before one o'clock. We'll make true. sure you're seen. Okay. okay good. Good. Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. Great. You're dismissed. Ooh, sorry. According to the rules of dismissal, he already started walking away before you said it, so he actually dismissed you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for wearing a mask today. Yeah. Tim doesn't get it. All right. The mask doesn't do anything for you. It's to protect me. Hey, you guys got an extra mask? No, I don't. That's fine. And by the rules of dismissal, you going off to look for a mask in order to gain access to the courthouse constitutes as a walk of shame. That's cool. That's cool? Yeah. How are you? You can't come in with that. It's uh, well, this is public lobby, so like. But you can't record in the building, so yeah. no record device. Really? really, you have to be so petty and childish when you're ignorant of the law that you have to encourage call bombing. Your future constitutional sheriff, Connecticut. Okay, put your camera back where you got it. I'll just turn it off. Put it back where you got it from. Well, the, it the vehicle here. just left. We I don't can want to. Hold it up here for you. Yep. We can tag can it. Can I identify all you guys? Yeah. Okay. No. No. Let me turn it off. Yeah, we can hold it. Up. GoPro, can stop recording. Well, after metaphorically blowing smoke, I guess now we get to watch you do it literally. Excuse me, sir. Hey, are you a public servant? Did you take an oath, sir? Oh, look, some extra bullshit and failed predictions. Did you take an oath? Sir, are you going to fail to identify? Are you gonna identify yourself, sir? That's a violation of your protocol, is it not, sir? Were you not trained to identify yourself to a private citizen? Yeah, it may be a matter of policy that he has to identify when you ask, but it's not actually something he's legally required to do. And as much as I hate to sound like one of your brainless colleagues, policies are not law. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got our tyrant of the day. Let it be known. Oh, there he goes the other way. Sir, so you will refuse to identify? 
Tyranny has no place in America, sir. You're a tyrant. You're a coward. That's the walk of shame right there. Woo! The walk of shame! I'm afraid it loses value when you have to sound so desperate to declare it. So I'm afraid your walk of shame is the more prominent one of this video. Of course, we can just add that to the pile of your morally bankrupt behavior and pure idiocy. And don't even get me started on your warped sense of priorities. Your desperation to argue your absolute nonsense rather than maybe attend to the case involving your daughter? You really are a shit person. But then again, I'm not overthinking it. You are a shit person. You are the most arrogant, self-righteous, petulant sack of crap who's ever defiled humanity with his existence. And the world is going to know it. And you know why? Because you reap what you sow. And you're going to need a big fucking scythe.